The word geo means earth, but geology looks at a part of the earth we call the lithosphere, or the inorganic portion of the planet, the bedrock, plus the unconsolidated particles that overlie the solid rock. It is a solid part of the planet we stand on. Scientists study the lithosphere so that they can understand what the earth is now, how it came to be this way, and what forces within and without are reshaping the earth. The uppermost layer of the earth is the soil, composed of weathered, broken down rock, minerals, and variety of living and dead life forms. The soil is only a few feet deep, but it is nutrient rich and provides inorganic material that allows life to thrive and creates safe bed for plants and animals. Soil is alive with bacteria and algae and fungi, which help sustain life. The top soil is darker and richer than the regolith beneath it. Soil in deserts and rainforests is very poor. Why is there poor, uh, poor soil and rainforests? All the nutrients are already absorbed into the trees and plant life in the forest and little is left on the ground. The layers of the earth are vast. It is 4,000 miles approximately to the earth's core and many of us has only dug core samples about seven miles deep. Much under the crust of the earth is completely unexplored. Even though we have never physically explored the earth's core, we know many things about it due to the use of seismic waves. As scientists study sound waves either made by the planet or by man, by passing through the earth, the waves bump into other materials, and as they do, they produce shorter or longer or faster and slower when they bump into some materials. This tells us about the quantity and the density of these materials these waves encounter. Another clue is the Earth's magnetic field. The field is generated by massive circulations of the hot liquid mantle below the Earth's surface. These observations suggest to scientists that there are four distinct layers of the Earth's surface. There is the crust, the mantle, and the outer and inner core. The crust is about 10 miles of rock and loose material. The mantle is made up of superheated rock and is about 85% of the Earth's weight. The outer core is composed of superheated lava and is found out to be about 3,000 miles below the Earth's surface. The inner core is the center of the Earth. It is made up of mostly iron and nickel. Buried in the Earth are the 90 elements that exist in the crust. These elements combine with each other in numerous ways creating the minerals we know and use. There are over 3,000 minerals and more are being discovered daily. There isn't much rock on the surface. It is covered in dirt or regolith. However, sometimes rock protrudes out of the ground and is what is known as an outcropping. These minerals uh, form over 3,000 types of rock and are disguised into categories of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rock. Sedimentary rock is formed from compressed loose materials near. Igneous rock is formed from melted rock material, also known as magma, and metamorphic rock is formed from heated and compressed rocks. Landforms are a topographic feature on the planet. Scientists study how these are formed and how they change. Landforms can be as large as mountains or as tiny as ponds or hills.